At scale, we invest in enterprise software, uh, mostly software that's sold to developers uh, and to business buyers. We've been following the AI market a lot and we, we always look for three things in investment. A large market, which we really like here, it's a $300 billion spent in call centers. Uh, we always like very smart teams and these guys seem to have very sharp founders who really understood the technology well. Um, and then we, we like the machine learning space and the idea of machines augmenting humans in the workplace. So one of the things that we look for in machine learning is always a full stack approach. And they're doing machine learning from end to end. So they take in the audio and convert it into text and then do a whole bunch of analytics. And what we really liked is that they can make audio searchable. So in the same way that Google made the internet searchable, the audio has basically been excluded from search for so long. This actually allows you to search audio for the first time and in a really deep way. We really like machine learning where it works side by side with humans. Um, we sort of, we've, we've written a lot about software that works for humans rather than the other way around. I think software to date has been, it always feels like hard work when you're using it. Observe is a good use case of where a lot of the work of monitoring in a call center is actually quite tedious. And so it actually takes away a lot of the tedium and actually makes the job of the person in the call center whose job it is to monitor these calls for compliance a lot better. I spent a lot of time reading about machine learning as it applies to language understanding. Understanding language is a huge unsolved problem. Actually, I think it's something that Observe can invest in for the next 10 years. There's plenty of new technology to build there. For founders to be successful, I think first they have to be extremely passionate about the industry and know it well. And I think building a team with a very strong culture at all levels of the organization. It's been amazing to me how many of our best companies have a very strong culture, which always comes from the founders and it gets set early on and it doesn't change. 